Territorial Cup 2021. It's a battle between U of A and ASU. And if they only one team was one in ten, the Wildcats. Oh, what a year to be a Sun Devil. Seven and four, five and three. Can't has there ever been a game that was ever less in doubt than this one for the Sun Devils? Um probably at some point. Um I, I can't think of recent one. memory, right? I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I tell you, I, I think ASU's got to be really careful with this one, given the way they've played lately. And Arizona at least is playing with some passion. You know, they're not very smart and they're not very good, but you can tell the, the players are buying in for, for the coach. So it, it's not going to be a 77 kind of blowout, that's for sure. Greg, what do you what do you uh, think as we go into this territorial cup? No, Arizona State's offense is – I'm trying not to use hyperbole, but the, the, I don't know what that offense is trying to do sometimes uh, outside of the run game, right? The pass game is just – Jaden's running for his life back there. He's not throwing the ball to guys on his team, right? He's getting too many interceptions. Arizona State's really got to figure this out or else I'm with Kent. A rivalry game and toss the records out the window. If U of A has been getting hyped up all season long, because about the time they got to about five and oh, they realized their season was lost and everything became about this game. I don't know, man. Arizona State probably doesn't want to take this lightly because they're going to get the best shot from those guys down in Tucson. Michelle, what, what do you uh, what do you think going into this? Well, I think, you know, coming off of a loss like ASU had at Oregon State, it, it was just ugly. It was an ugly game. They didn't play well on offense. I thought the defense did all right, but the offense didn't do many favors. So a lot of times coming off a game like that, it's hard to get back up again. Maybe the fact that this is the rivalry game makes it easier for them to get up again. So I got to think that maybe the fact that they're playing Arizona this week and not somebody else is probably a good thing. Michelle, is, is it a matter of the Sun Devil defense will keep them in this game and not necessarily that the offense will win this game for, for ASU? No, I think there's a big difference between Oregon State and Arizona when you're talking about the level of play. So I, I think ASU, again, has got to go out and pound the ball, keep the ball on the ground. And I, I don't think that – Arizona has the same horses that Oregon has on either side of the ball. So I expect them to be able to run the ball and, and we'll see what they do passing wise. It's hit and miss with this passing game. And Jaden doesn't look comfortable. And I, the receivers have been in, a, in and out of the line with injuries. Um, he just hasn't looked comfortable in the pocket. I think the offensive line has had breakdowns. So I don't think when you look at the offensive part of this team, it's any one facet that's at fault it's kind of everybody's kind of had a hand in this offense not doing well Kent is this two programs going in in different directions I mean this is obviously you know not where Arizona wants to be but you know they're going to turn the corner and for ASU it just seems like they're just stagnant and just waiting out what could be coming from the investigation what could be coming at the end of this season I mean, this is a really interesting time in this rivalry game. Yeah, I don't know if they're in two separate directions or not, because I'm not sure which way ASU is headed. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know who knows what lies beyond the bowl game, what the investigation will bring, Herm Edwards' future, et cetera. You know, with, with, with Jed Fish, at least in Tucson, there's some excitement, right? He's the kind of guy they needed to hire after Kevin Sumlin, you know, He's a salesman. He's got enthusiasm. They need somebody to sell that program down there and, and somebody the players can believe in. And he's delivered that. You know, if they had won one, more than one game, then I would say their trajectory is, is really high. But certainly it's better than it was a year ago. But, yeah, it is an odd time in uh, the history of, of, of both programs. This was supposed to be ASU's, you know, the year they, they crowned and, and, you know, and, and competed for a pack. 12 title and they, they could end up with eight victories and everybody's going to view this season as a, as a, a huge disappointment. And Greg, your, your thoughts on that, these two programs. I don't trust the NCAA 
I don't trust that they're going to get this investigation right. I don't trust that they're going to do a thorough job. I don't trust that it's legitimate at all because this is the same organization that for years has been watching white coaches make millions and millions of dollars while black athletes are running around making squat. So if you're going to uphold and enforce a system like that, we're going to be uh, diametrically opposed. Now, you want to talk about football. ASU's offense is not doing what it needs to do. The defense really needs Darian Butler for this game. Herm Edwards has raised the standard of players that needs to be at Arizona State. Uh, he's still trying to figure out some differences between the pro game and the college game. That's clear. U of A needs to win some football games. Don't talk to me about the direction of the program. Don't talk to me about are they up or down. They've got one win more than I have this season. So they've got to play good football before we can start to talk about any kind of future. They got to shore up the, the now. So they got to get in the weight room. They got to get on the recruiting trail and they got to build a, 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 a culture down there to set up something. I'm sorry. You got me fired up talking about the NCAA, that, that whole thing. But we're going to see how that plays out, of course. Uh, let's go Let's go to predictions uh, for this game and, and just for funds, because uh, I know Greg loves these stats and whatever. Uh, Sun Devils are favored uh, by 20 points. The over-under is 52.5, which I think is very generous, by the way. Uh, and the matchup predictors have ASU at 90% winning this. As a ASU grad myself, this is the one where it feels like the rug gets pulled out from under us and, and, and they end up losing this game. That's just, I haven't made a prediction all year, but that's just how I feel. Let's start with you, Michelle, please tell me otherwise. I struggles are not offensively. I don't see how ASU loses this game. I could, that could come back to bite me, but I still think ASU wins this game. I'd say 32 to 14. I, I just think ASU does have offensive horses, at least in the running game. And that should be able to get them by. Okay. Ken? Yeah, I'm with you. That over-under is really generous after watching both of these teams try to play offense in recent weeks. Um, <laughs> and I, I think that's a huge line. I, if ASU is paying attention, if it's ready for this game, it'll, it'll win. And I, I don't know that it'll win by a lot, but I'll, I'll go. I, I think ASU wins it like uh, 24 to 10. Okay. Greg? I don't gamble. So you mean to tell me they're going to put gambling on my cell phone, then encourage me to drink while I watch the game, and then they're going to tell me I can gamble uh, to make my money But in between? Get, like, I, don't, I don't gamble on sports, right? But uh, over under at 52, you mean to tell me that both teams together have to score more than 52 points for it to be over? There's no way that's over. Arizona State, isn't gonna, that's, that's not going to happen. Okay, so I'm going under. And then ASU plus – so ASU has to win by three touchdowns. All right, all right, all right, all right. What number does – uh what number <laughs> – what number does Darian Butler wear? 20. 20, all right. Hello. And what number does – uh what number – don't ask me any player on U of A because I have no clue. Who, <laughs> plays <laughs> Who plays for U of A? What number does Jermaine Lole wear? None this year. <laughs> so there it is. 20 to nothing, Arizona State. Oh, here we go. Listen, Michelle and Kent made me feel better. Greg, you make me feel like, you know, that, that this could be, you know, one of those things. And if that's the case... Woe be to the Sun Devils, but let's hope it happens. The Sun Devils, 7-4, and four, U of A, 1-10, all the action. Sun Devil Stadium, Saturday night, and right here at azcentral.com.